What's up ladies and gentlemen, that one Andrew here and welcome back to another unboxing video. Now, um, we're going to try to make this work. There's very limited space here and, okay, very limited space here but we're going to try to make this work. Today we're going to be unboxing the Xbox One S. Now, again, there is small space but a couple of other goodies came with this package. I got this off eBay um, for about to 200 I think. And it came with an extra controller and a game, which it's a game that I lied about. But that's okay, because it's a better game than I thought. So we're going to start off with those, since those are the easiest small things. Now, the first thing it came with was Forza Horizon 3. Now, this game has gotten good reviews, and it is one of the top Xbox exclusive games. The game that it said it was going to come with was Lucky's Tale, or Super Lucky's Tale, I believe. So I think I actually kind of lucked out with getting this instead of that, because Super Lucky's Tale had like six, seven reviews, but Forza Motorsport 3 has been highly rated. I'm not really a racing guy, but I will try this game because I have played the Horizon series before and I have liked it. I would open the box, but I mean, it's just a disc in there. So next thing we're gonna unbox is the Xbox One controller. This is the extra controller that it comes with. It is the white, um, white controller. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and open this. I've never really opened well, that's not true. I bought a custom controller once. I'm gonna go get some scissors. I've never prepared for these videos. All right. You would think that I would set all this up before I start recording, but no, I do not. So I've I have bought a new controller before. The ones I haven't gotten with the consoles. I got a custom controller off of their um their Xbox Lab thing. And I have that controller still, but having this controller is going to be pretty nice. So there you go. There's the Xbox White controller. Xbox is very good with their accessories, especially the box and presentation, how it just kind of opens up and it has a little slant, so it's presenting it to you. And the Xbox One controller is very nice. The only thing I don't like about it, though, is that it's not rechargeable. It does take AA batteries, which 2017 you think I want to have to buy an extra battery pack to, for it to be rechargeable. Nintendo and uh, Sony I've got on top of that, but not Microsoft. But they do include two AA batteries, so what can you really do? So there's that extra controller, and I think underneath, yeah, they just got like the owner manual and warranty, stuff like that. So Stuff people usually don't read about or care about until something actually breaks. So that's all that's in that one. And now, here comes the big one. This is the Xbox One S. Now, as you can see, this camera can't really fit all of it onto the box. It is the 500 gigabyte, I can move the camera a little. It is the 500 gigabyte, does have 4K Ultra HD, does have HDR in it. So it is considerably better than the PlayStation 4 original and much better much, much better than the OG Xbox. So we're going to go ahead and unbox this. Of course, as you all know, I have had um, struggles with Microsoft in the past, and I still do. I feel like their games lineup is lackluster, and they don't have too many original IPs coming out for their console. Most of them are either sequels from last gen or just not good games. But I'm hoping in the future that will change. The first thing that's here is this little Xbox One. It shows how we plug in the Xbox One in case you've never owned a console in your life. Which there are people that never have, so you always gotta they always gotta have this just in case. Set that aside. Now I'm gonna bring this down here. And you can see up here there's the Xbox One S. We're just going to we're gonna pull this up first. I believe these are the cords for it. And this is the Xbox One S that comes with um, the download for Battle Battlefield 1. So here's the power cord. No power brick. Very, very nice. I'm so happy that they got rid of the power brick. That was insane when they launched the original Xbox One and they had a power brick still. That original console launch was just an entire mess. Because with the HDMI cord, good. Now I have 28 of those. And comes with the white controller. 
So now I have two of the exact same controllers. And once again, it includes batteries. So now we have two of those. Which means we can play all the multiplayer games. Very fun. Okay, I'm gonna set this stuff aside. Over here. Batteries over here. And lastly, <clears throat> we have the actual thing itself. And here is the, and this is a download code for the uh, Battlefield 1. So I won't take that out because that is mine, and I will be downloading that game. So that is for me to see, and not any of you. So here's the Xbox One S. It's so much smaller, so much sleeker, so much nicer than the original Xbox One. The original Xbox One was a bulky, ugly mess that looked like a VCR. I, some people liked it, which I just don't understand how they could like it. Um, I thought both, well, not the Wii U. The Wii U also was pretty ugly. But the Xbox 360, just it, the Elite looked very nice. And the PlayStation 4, even though people criticized at first that they looked the same, there's an obvious difference. And even though there's slight changes, just a smaller size and the nice curvature of the PlayStation 4 really made it stand out. But this, with the white and black design, is so much nicer. So there you have the Xbox One S. Has on the front, it's a button. I, I didn't know this at first, but this, it's a button for the power instead of just touch how it was on the original Xbox One. So that is different. You have your eject button, I believe that's what that is. And down here is how you um, sync controllers. You press that and it has a little sensor for the controllers. There we have an HD, not HDMI, USB slot, my bad. Now let's take this sticker off, even though they tell you, do not warp, do not, um, yeah, so this is just saying that there's a disc tray inside and do not remove the console if there is a disc in there. Okay, so on the back, we have our power slot. We have two HDMIs, I believe one is in, and yeah, HDMI out and then HDMI in. We have two more USB ports. We have, if this can focus, 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 IR out. We have um, the thing for like a, you know, what is that, for like a sound bar or something, we have that. And then we have our um, Ethernet cable that is right there. So, pretty basic. It's a basic design, but the basic minimalist design that they did go for really helps it out, I think, in the end. It's very sleek, very nice. There are, I can already see dust getting trapped all in these little holes, but that's okay. Because sometimes you gotta pay the price for beauty. Anyways, there's the Xbox One S, guys. Comes with two controllers, and mine came with Forza Horizon 3. Now, if you want this, I will link the eBay page, if they still have any, down below in the comments. It's, it would make a great Christmas present. Again, it's only around $200. For two controllers, a console, and two games, that is a steal. This is a great starting package if you know anyone that wants an Xbox One. Um, in my opinion, if you don't, if you're trying to choose between PlayStation and Xbox, I would go PlayStation just because of the games. But if you already have a PlayStation and you're wanting to get an Xbox, this I do recommend. The One S. Do not get the X because I think that's way too overpriced. And do not get the original Xbox because that thing is kind of a piece of junk. But the S is very sleek, very nice. It can play 4K. It has a 4K player inside of it. It has HDR. It runs very nice. And again, with this uh, deal, you get such a great bargain. Anyways, there's my unboxing of this. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you tune into the next video and check out my Persona, um, Persona 5 Crystal unboxing down in my um on my channel you can find it. it was a video uploaded right before this so i hope you guys enjoy and merry christmas have a nice day